Hello, my name is Rosario Dawson. On screen, I portray fictional heroes, but today I am here to pay tribute to real life heroes, women and men who risk their lives every day to defend critical ecosystems. Last year alone, at least 330 human rights defenders were killed around the world, according to the organization Frontline Defenders. Of those, almost seven out of 10 we're protecting the environment, land, or indigenous rights. In the Amazon rainforest, the list of defenders who stood up to illegal loggers, land grabbers, and miners and were murdered for defending their rights grows tragically every year with little to no accountability. Among those names is Arbildo Melendez Grandes, a community leader of the Cacataibo indigenous people of Peru. A little over one year ago, Arbildo was murdered following many death threats for demanding that the government issue a land title for his community. Since then, his widow Sulema Guevara has fought for justice for her husband and people. She too is receiving death threats. In Brazil, the president has publicly endorsed breaking environmental laws and deforestation has seen a dramatic surge since his election. He has also cut funding for the protection of indigenous peoples and what the Catholic Church Missionary Indigenous Council has called a planned extermination. We cannot accept more activists on the list of martyrs for the environment. There are many courageous leaders like Sulema across the Amazon who deserve our support. I support the Amazon Climate Platform. We call for the Biden administration to increase diplomatic efforts to help protect climate activists and human rights defenders. For many defenders in the Amazon and around the world, tomorrow could be too late.